What's up Rockstars, today I finally got Senjutsu Battle for Japan. Cannot wait to unbox this. Let's see if they have some cool minis. Let's see if they have some cool cards. Let's see what's inside right now. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. If you appreciate all of the videos that I do for you guys, I've done every single one every single day lately, then at least a like on the video would be helpful, but even better, a dollar a month through Patreon or more. Thank you so much. It adds up and it helps a ton. Thank you for all of my supporters there. Now, let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, this is just me proving that I'm a real person, so it's not just floating hands. It feels a little awkward to do a whole video where all you see is my hands. My hands are not that great. So, um, I'm gonna pull everything out, and then we're gonna look at everything top down, up close, really good detail. Um, I can say right now, <laughs> the rule book, <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> just printed here. Let's check the back. Do we got an index? We got an index? No index in the current printed form. However, they do have some color in here. Um, you know, honestly, it's just helpful that they printed it out. Half the time I have to print it out myself. I always like to read a rule book non-digitally if I can. I feel the tactile version helps me remember where things are because I'll remember if it's left page versus right or top down versus not within just a scroll with the pages sideways. It just, I like this better. Digital is nice to do a control F, right? To kind of find, but to learn, I really appreciate that. So that's good. We got lots of packing peanuts. We got some cards here. Ooh, these cards are actually looking pretty sweet. We'll take a look at all of them. I'm not going to unbind them yet. Okay, we got some more cards here. Lots of cards. 24 extra base ability cards for deck construction. Love deck construction. Yes, please. Uh, Kam Kame rings and advantage uh, trackers. These are like. Painted washers, that is so cool. I freaking love prototypes. That is cool, I can't wait to show you guys in high detail that, that is awesome. More cards. More cards. More cards, this is two AI for solo opponent decks. Uh, something in stun cards, so we got some solo stuff going on here. That's cool, maybe I'll try that out for you guys. For you guys, I would never play it normally. Core game cards, wounds, characters, and advance. Very cool. Got some more cards there. Got some bubble wrap that's left here. We do have some minis. I'm not gonna take a look at them too closely. I'll put them up here so I can't even see them. We'll look at those in detail as well. And then it looks like underneath it all, we have a mess. <laughs> we got a game board. If you didn't know, Stone Sword Games. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, here is the main map. And as you can see, it's just kind of a, um, you know, a, a battlefield. This almost looks like it's a top-down view of uh, Ghost of Tsushima a little bit, in my opinion, uh, which I dig and I think I appreciate a lot. Um, but it has kind of like a, a very, you know, northern Japan in the mountains kind of a you know, snowy look to it with a, a little bit of a bridge and like a frozen river kind of thing. Maybe even some like, you don't really get to see the detail a little bit here. It kind of gets a little fuzzy here, which I think is on purpose, but um, then all the hexes here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move. Well, no, we'll, we'll leave this here. I think that's fine. I think it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at some cards and then some minis. I'm really curious about a lot of these cards. Um, there was some in particular. Let's go ahead and look at these um, because it's it's like a, a cool kind of pinkish hue there that I really dig. All right. Looks like there's a whole bunch of colors here. So these are wound cards. You can kind of see the one there. Uh, draw and place in front, face up, count as one wound until you get there, never give up. Oh, a little fortune cookie stuff. I love it. Um, okay, that's, these are all the same. Okay, so a whole bunch of those. All right, now we have bleeding wounds here. And bleeding wounds, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the cards perhaps a little bit better. 
There you go. I think that's pretty good. All right, Bleeding Wound, Wound card, draw and place in front face up. Count as one wound. Discard top card of your deck at the start of your turn. If no card can be discarded, draw one wound card. Okay, so this is where you're like bleeding out and you're bleeding out your cards. That's kind of cool. I dig that. I can get behind that. Then we have Stun cards. Draw to hand counts towards hand size. Discard play as an ability card. So it kind of numbs you from doing as much uh, until you actually play it as an ability card to kind of get rid of it. Which is again kind of interesting. Then we have okay, this is the student, um, the the Kame tree. This is one of the the uh, people you can be. And Yuki Ogimaru. Uh, it's kind of hard to read this a little bit. Starting advantage. Oh, this is probably the student because it's the same symbol. So this is his kind of like here's his advance card card type advantage if tied on speed. Is this is just helpful to. Um, this is the one thing I believe you get in the middle. And then you kind of denote who, where everybody is on this. It goes defense, attack, meditation, and then I don't know what this one is at all. I only know so much. Okay, total of 40 cards. Here's the starting card deck. Also, it tells you exactly kind of the number and which one each one is. Uh, so there is numbers down here, which is nice. We got, I believe, the initiative. Um, I think this is the same thing there. And... Uh, yeah I, yeah, I don't know what all these, I think that's probably turning and moving perhaps. Um, I don't know what these symbols do here. Let's say there's two different parts to this one. So you do whatever this junk is and then you draw up to two cards and change Kamai up to one branch. I'm assuming is um, the Kamai tree here. So whatever that is, maybe poses and stuff like that. Swift Bind, War Cry, Deep Meditation. Um, Drop two cards or review probably opponent's hand and switch to the this, right? So they must do different things. The samurai with their reference cards here. Volume of card, wood, steel, gold, and jade. Attack defending positions, instant card, type of card. Oh, well, there's quite a bit here. Rotation, front arc, and all directions. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a back two. The back here, reference card, gain advantage. That's the speed, that's a parry. Uh, matching the comedy symbol on your character console allows players to add the bonus ability to the current. Okay, so that's that colored part we saw there. And then the back of it all looks like that. These are very nice, by the way. Like, um, they feel like plastic. Um, I'm, I'm actually almost wondering if that, I think they might be the PVC um, plastic. Uh, you know, just a thin plastic card because I'm not sure I could rip these if I wanted to. They're, they feel great. Actually, like, I'd be fine if they were just delivered like this. These are nice. They feel very robust. Uh, kind of close to poker cards, you know, just a normal uh, deck of cards, but uh, a little bit smoother um, and a little bit, uh, you know, thicker too. So they have different paths here. And it looks like this might be a bit of a mix. I believe I got this from another uh, group of people, which is why the rule book was uh, also kind of bent. Um, on the back of these wound cards, same thing there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Looks like this is probably more the same. We'll leave through it real quick. Yeah, wow, wow, man, look at this wild block here. You're blocking everything. I dig it. That's cool. Staggering blow, firm mind, quick stab, circling defense. I don't know what the asterisk is there. Uh, severing cut. Another deep meditation, another deep meditation. So there are some repeats here. Quick stab, dash down strike, pommel smash, lunging thrust. Very cool. Um, this looks like the same thing again. Or at least, I mean, somebody else's deck anyway. Quick stab, yeah, same kind of stuff. Okay, which means this, probably same thing as well. And this probably same thing as well. This is less, but uh, same thing there. Okay, so now we have, here are the 24 extra base ability cards for deck instruction. And then we'll look at the AI stuff, the tokens and the minis, and we're done. I dig it. All right. Horse kick, heck yeah, that's what we're all about there. <laughs> wow. Trained mine, horse kick again, split, splitting strike, 
Is it you turn and then move and then I guess bleed or something maybe? Uh, definitely a lot of repeats here. Fang cut, wind block. What the heck is going on there? Oh man. And there's some stuff. Forest step. Diagonal slash. I take that. Trained mine. Diagonal slash. Rolling slash. Rolling slash. Okay. So it looks like uh, definitely different copies of each one, which I think is uh, good in a way because what it means is it it's not more, it's not so much a gotcha drafting or anything like that. Like if you're playing with four people, we all have to build a deck. We need multiple copies of the cards. Otherwise, you have to do some kind of like draft on who gets which card, and half of you are just picking stuff just to screw up the other people so nobody's playing optimally, and then you're just no fun. Okay, so this is the AI deck. Let's so you can go against Yuki. Agamaru, so the the student I believe is who this one is. Uh, that might be the Ronin, actually, one of them. Um, and then this is I guess his cards and uh, wound limit. One ability deck is empty. And his behavior always rotate to face player, move towards player's front, move towards player's back via left side. So is that all the AI he needs really? And then you just draw the top card kind of thing, perhaps. I don't know. Unless these have been buffed or balanced or something like that, I feel like that wouldn't quite work out. Lots of stun there, too. Interesting. Interesting. So times two AI solo. I didn't really see the times two there, but who knows what I got. All right. Oh, we got the rule book, too. Let's go and look at these, though, because these are fun. <laughs> Again, never had this before. I love prototype just because of this. I mean, that's just cool. So here's your little tokens. And as you can see, it's just, <laughs> that's awesome. There you go, you can kind of see that. Wow, that's cool, I dig that. There's a painted washer and then um, just another one. And then you just get a few of them, that's cool. Hey, it works, actually it works pretty well. Nice and hefty too, look at, this is the metal upgrade. Y'all are gonna pay like 40 bucks for that. <laughs> What is here? Nothing. Okay, so um, here's the beta rule book. You can see it a little bit closer. I already have uh, some call outs, looks like some examples, some food stains, get all sorts of stuff on here. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. All right, wind condition, the preface, uh, components, contents. Well, so I got some reading to do for sure. I love the. Oh, yeah, see, these examples are cool though. I, is that all this is? Wound order. Sample two player game. Cool. Yeah, just walk me through it. I love it. That's awesome. This will be useful for sure. All right, there's that. Let's get some minis. We'll start with the one that spilled out, huh? How about that? <laughs> all right, zoom in a little bit more here. There you are. All right, now I must say already that I love the basing. I think it's really, really nice looking. And I actually appreciate that it's the hexes match. There's not some round base on here. It's very nice to see. The stretch of the cloth between the knees and the legs because they're so separated are cool. I love that he's using the whole base. He's literally from over here to over here, but still quite centered. The um, hanging robe looks very nice, actually. I really dig that. Um, good sized sword. Again, this is a 3D print, right? These are all the supports here. Um, so this is an FYI. It's not final, of course. Um, the texture on uh, looks like sand, very faint. That would need to be upped to, I think, really make it to final production plastic. Uh, they also have little kind of faint flower-like things. I appreciate it being sculpted here. I think it would need to be a little bit more to really show up in the final production still. Uh, this is done really well. It actually angles up uh, the bottom here. So it's it, as you can see, it looks really good from dead on. Uh, the, the tie and the rope and all that look very nice. Fingers are looking good. Face is looking great. The hair looks nice. Um, this is a cool mini for sure. Again, love the leg down and bent and then leg forward and bent. I wonder if these are like actual poses 
they look cool, but they may be Hollywood eyes. Hollywood eyes. I don't know. All I know is I think that's super cool. All right, next here we have, I think this is the Ronin, I want to say. No, I'm going to assume. Yeah, yes, yes, this is the Ronin. Okay. So again, the kind of the texture I think is great. As you can see, two billowing pants. So these are separate, though they're actually all the same. Just kind of done smartly there. I love the raised foot and the actual kind of platform underneath there. It looks nice. Um, this looks really good. And I notice this is like inlaid as opposed to standing out, which is kind of interesting. Don't know if they're going to do that in all of them. It's definitely more faint, but still definitely noticeable. Either way, this would paint wonderfully. That looks great. Um, muscle definition is really, really good. It's very defined right now, which means in final production plastic, it'll still be well defined. Um, it gets a little bit softer, a little bit shallower when you when you cast it the way and the, the plastic shrinks a little bit in the mold. So that's still quite nice. Um, love the drawing of the sword, but still doesn't have the sword out. It's a nice snapshot in time, especially with the hair moving, right? It, it, it's like he's just about to kind of pull it forward and with him leaning this way and then turned that way it looks like he's really about to kind of bring it down you can kind of complete the motion in your mind just by looking at him which is really really uh, a cool thing to do and it kind of shows i think that you did it well i love the half cloth shirt by the way too that's it's a nice painting uh thing to do and then of course the face looks great we got eye brows we got a nose with nostrils chin mouth all the facial stuff, <laughs> all of it. Okay, here is the student. So that was uh, the like the sensei, the Ronin, and uh, the student. You can see the the glue they used here. You don't have to mind that. Again, uh, kind of a flat triangle, which I really dig. I like how hidden that is. Um, this is again a different uh, a different base as well. A lot more kind of crumbly, kind of temple, um, you know, the sacred area kind of place here, which is nice. The texture on the uh, uh, armor is exquisite, very nice. Love the kind of the wrappings and the ties, but a kind of a simplistic look on the boots, which I think are, are lending itself to this mini a lot. Um, the nice big long sword there, I dig that. He does not have his other shorter sword that a samurai would have, but again, he's still just a student. Maybe they don't get that yet. They normally have, I believe, three swords, right? At least I know they have their big one for outside and their small one for inside um, or close quarter combat or anything like that, so you're not, you know, dealing with a big sword or anything. Well, again, love the helmet. Um, the scale of these is, I think, a little... I think it's I think it's about average, perhaps. It seems a little small, but I think it's because they just have big bases if that makes sense. So the base here is really big and the person on top of it almost looks a little small. Also, they're all squatting. So there's that too. Um, that'll just make you look smaller. Really like, by the way, the ring um, around where the arm goes here. That looks very nice, very natural, which I really appreciate. And finally, we have the warrior. This is the one like we saw at the beginning. This is an awesome mini, great looking base. Love the arrows. I think that looks awesome very cool that he's kind of like charging through it there he's got his weapon here he's got his banner you can looks like there's nothing sculpted on it so you'd have to hand hand paint whatever you want on there so good luck there um i wouldn't mind a sculpt of something there yeah see here's the three blades so you got the really small one here's his normal well this is i guess two his normal one and then this weapon here that he has as well um uh, much more innate armor here I'm trying to see, it looks a little muddy right here. So you can just kind of see right there. I can bring it in even a little bit closer. So right here, it looks a little muddy to me. Um, everything else has been looking really crisp, uh, but that looks like it kind of blended in perhaps a little bit. Something to keep an eye on maybe. Um, otherwise though, I mean, this is looking great. I'm gonna love the bottom of the foot. It's not like on a random hill. And so it's actually lifted up. That's appreciative. I love the, the difference in lines. So these lines are different than these, which are different than these, which are different than these. So it's it's really nice to kind of see just so many different things here. What a cool mini. That's just fun. So they'd be moving around, kind of doing, do, doing their thing. 
like that. There we go. All right. Yeah, there, there, there. <laughs> That's where they're at. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you kind of got excited about this. I know I'm excited to read that rule book. I'll be playing it like a madman. I'll get this review out to you guys as soon as I can. This is launching on Tuesday. There'll be a link down below in the description to the campaign, either the preview page or it'll be live depending on when you watch this video. All right. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Bye.